Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. Covering all conversation from dating to sports fetishes, this is Talking Points with Shabazz Davis on World Improv Network. Ah, oh, thank you. Thank you. And welcome to Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. My name is Jerome Carmichael, filling in for Shabazz this week because he's out getting his liver washed. I don't know how that works, Shabazz, but good luck. Sounds invasive. Now, I know that there is one thing that we, as a human species, struggle with. I myself have been, shall we say, as my classmates said in, in high school, tragically unhip my entire life. Well, I have two gentlemen with me here tonight who are the opposite of that. They're not only grandpas, but they're also hipsters. Founders of the website hipstergrandpas.org, I would like to welcome Eugene Vincent and Francis Pork to the show. Gentlemen, welcome. What's crack a lacking, man? How's it going there, Mr. Carmichael? Uh, you I, staying sharp or what? I am uh, sailing the cool breeze, gentlemen. <laughs> All right, man. That's cool. Yeah. Now, uh, so you two, you have a website, hipstergrandpas.org. But uh, I think the first thing I would like to clear up, uh -huh. not only for myself, yeah, but for the nation at large, is what does it mean to be a hipster? Oh, man. That's like... A big question. That's a, don't you think, Francis? Yeah, you gotta be cool and you gotta wear plaid skinny jeans to start out with. It, oh. me it means, yeah, you, you know, because that's what's, that's what's hip right now. And we did the research, man. We, you know, we got our fingers on the pulse of, well, one, we gotta have our fingers on our own pulse. You know, we gotta oh. be right. on top of that. But we got our fingers on the pulse of, of fashion, of music. Music, yeah. It's all about style, man. If you ain't if you ain't rocking out the jams, then then you're just playing rocks. And you gotta but, listen to drum and bass. Very important these days. Yeah, D and B, uh, man. Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. Uh drum and bass. That that's just drums and bass. There's no other like well, it's electronic dance music. I mean, it's oh. just a high repetition, high um kind of a paste of dance music now now forgive me for saying this francis but uh you are using a walker so it seems like a high paced music would be tough for you to get into yes you would think so but my walker right here you see the hydraulics oh it oh. helps me dance oh that's fact, fancy. It gyrates me around on the dance floor oh now uh uh you gentlemen have talked about uh doing the research about knowing what is hip what what yeah. what is the research where are you who who are you focusing on well we go to the library and we go to the magazine stacks yeah and we oh. also sometimes um rent some uh, microfish oh wow uh very very hipster going back uh several uh generations of technology yeah man we still use dial up yeah, oh. you can't conform entirely. You gotta pretend like you're cool, you know? Ah, now that's a key word, Francis. You say pretend like you're cool. Right? Do you not feel cool inside? Do you do you feel like a fraud? Well, kind of always have ever since my wife left me. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. How long ago was this? <laughs> no, uh, Excuse oh, this, me. that's not funny. Yeah. She left me for a much younger man, like 40 years younger, and that's what turned me on to becoming a hipster because I wasn't going to get beat up by those young kids anymore. Mm. And I figured if I can't beat them, I better join them. And so, that's, so this is a, a lifestyle change based out of vengeance. Yes, vindiction. Uh -huh. And also, well, nowadays you can just kind of hook up with as many chicks as you want. Yeah, it's all about redefining yourself, man. You know, it's never too late to make a new choice. Every day is different. You know, every day is a new day. You get well, to, you, we get to wake up and say, you know what? I'm going to put on this hat. Or, <coughs> oh, uh, sorry, 
Oh, uh, that's... camel cigarettes. He's a vapor guy now, but he used to smoke too many camels. Oh. Yeah, I just got this new flavor. It's called pina colada. Yeah, that's pretty hip. <laughs> you should see me on the subways. I'm I'm straight up thugging, man. Yeah. Oh, well, I'll be honest. I do have a little trouble picturing that, Eugene. Pe uh, people are like, hey, cut out the smoke. And I'm like, um, I'm 91 years old. I earned this. And it's just water vapor anyway with flavor in it. So, yeah, I'm just hey, like, hey, why are you harshing my buzz, bro? Yeah, so Eugene came to me one day after he saw my pain when my wife left me. Mm -hmm. and said, Francis, we're going to change your attitude and we're going to change the world. And that's when he came up with the idea for a hipster. Grandpa.org. Yeah, he's a brilliant man at 91. Yeah, and look at him now. He's on fleek. Oh, uh, I, I'm assuming that's a good thing. His whole game is LeBron in this house. Oh, oh, oh wow. Not, haters gonna hate. That's fine. <laughs> that's all I can. Haters are gonna hate. That's a, a fickle audience. Now, your website, uh, hipstergrandpas.org, is is a subscription-based website right. that has been growing, I'm told, uh, just fantastically. Yes. Yeah, we just hired a new webmaster, Tyler, and he, uh, oh. he's, he's been a, a real cool dude. He's helped us out, not just with managing the website and all the traffic, but uh, you know, he's been giving us all kinds of pointers. Yeah, he's been bringing around a lot of chicks, too, and what we're trying to do, we're raising all that money on mm -hmm. hipstergrandpas.org, Mm -hmm. We're going to try to buy the Playboy Mansion on auction. Yeah. Turn it into a hipster palace. Oh. Uh, now, uh, well, uh, first off, uh, this Tyler is... Uh, uh, Francis, Francis, are you okay? Uh, uh, <laughs> aud audience, please. Hey, audience, please. Hey, bro, you all right? Uh, you going to... Hey, just uh, tough it out, bro. Hey, intern Steve. Intern Steve. Can we get a Heimlich out here, please? Oh, oh, he's cool, oh. man. He just needs to, hey, have some of uh, my colada. Oh. Yeah, it takes some of that, that sweet Caribbean uh, juice. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, gentlemen. I don't think we're allowed to smoke here in the studio. Hey, what? I, you, I. Yeah, what's the problem with that, hey, audience? Hey, no, hey, hey, the, these are the laws of the land, audience. I'm not trying to harsh your buzz, gentlemen. It seems it, like you are, because that's what you're doing. Well, there Talk are... about a wet blanket. Yeah, Mr. Carmichael, did you pee your blanket or something? What, you trying to give us no, pneumonia no with all your wet blanket attitude, man? Attitude. Uh, no, no, I am enforcing the laws of the land. Laws exist in wow. a civilized society for a reason. Yeah, I heard all about this in the 60s, man. Yeah, you know, hippies were just the starters of hipsters. And hipsters don't follow the laws either because hippies never did. Well, uh, here on... Talking points with Shabazz Davis. We do follow the law. Yeah, this so, isn't even your show, man. You're like substitute teacher. We should be watching a movie yeah. right now. Hey, that doesn't mean I don't deserve respect. But oh. Mr. Carmichael, like whenever you dad. had a substitute teacher, did you ever respect him or her or do anything I, they told you to do? No, you didn't. I of course I did. Of course I did, Mr. No Port. way, man. You were you weren't always this straight laced. Come on. Excuse Come on, you me. Must, you must have cut loose when you were younger. I didn't. I had a friend, Don Glonk, who was uh, the rebel in What's the group. What's his name? Don Glonk. Don Glonk? Oh, who's Don Glonk? Tell us a little bit about Don. Yeah, uh, who's he, Don he's, Glonk? He has a great name. Maybe he should be a hipster with us. Uh, uh, look, I don't know where he is right <laughs> now. I went to middle school. Uh, Mr. Mr. Pork, uh, here. Uh, <laughs> here, have some, have some water. <laughs> Audience, hey, please. <laughs> This gentleman may be a lawbreaker, but that does not mean he deserves to be laughed at. Um, <coughs> Thanks, Mr. Carmichael. Oh, uh, absolutely, Mr. Pork. Uh, no, Don Glonk was just, uh, he was a friend of mine in middle school, and he would routinely cut class or smoke cigarettes that he had pilfered from his parents, uh, and of which I never took part. Um, you should be a rapper, man. You just pilfered from his parents. All you got to do is get a beat behind that. Yeah, uh, drum and bass, that'd be a great song. Here, let me, I'll drop the beat, all right? Uh, boom, boom, cat, boom, boom, uh, boom, cat, boom, boom, cat, boom, boom, from boom, boom, his cat. parents, those boom. Oh, come on, man. Threats. I, yeah, come I'll, on, keep it going. You're straight yeah. flossing right now. 
Boom, boom, cat. Boom, bigger cat. He is out back catching butterflies in net. Boom, cuz they're cool. Boom, El Papi all. Boom, boom, cat. Gentlemen, gentlemen, are you? Audience, please. Sometimes it, you know, being this cool just takes a real toll on your lungs. Oh, and I think that is the lesson for this show. Remember, being cool is going to harsh your lungs. And that is the Talking Point. Talking Points with Shabazz Davis. Give the Windcast your questions on Facebook, Twitter, or the Mile High Sports Radio studio line during the break of what issues the Wind counselors can help you with during good, bad, ugly. Next on Mile High Sports Radio.